Hi everyone, uh, I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you the basics of CNN by solving the cats and dogs problem in Kaggle. So if you don't know what the cats and dogs problem are, it basically gives you, uh, this is a machine learning problem from Kaggle. The dataset consists of uh, pictures of cats and dogs and we need to figure out to make an algorithm which uh, classifies cats uh, dogs from cats okay so you can find uh, i'll give a link of the computation or data of the site from kaggle in the video description and uh yeah let's get started so the first thing i would like you to show uh, around the data set here so you can download the data set using this link on Kaggle uh, it is divided into few like train and test uh, separated into train and test uh, zip folders and I guess it uh, yeah so we're just gonna dive into the basics of convolutional neural network and how we feel that it's structured I'm going to use tensorflow um, and use the data set provided here by Kaggle uh, so yeah, let's get started. So I'm just gonna copy this and um, I'm going to use VS Code and Python for obviously uh, bringing out the things. So for that I will use apologies, so I didn't realize it would be that much dark here uh, okay um so i'm going to use vs code and python for obvious uh construction of the neural network layers and uh, my favorite editor is vs code you can use whatever you like you can use pycharm or if you like to use ipython notebooks you can use google colab they have a gpu and a cpu for your uh like preference and also if you have a gpu you can also use uh what's the, like the jupyter notebook by anaconda so yeah I'm, new, I'm going to use this one. So open. I opened up a terminal, pasted it in the Kaggle command. Hopefully it works without an error. So uh, make sure it's located in a Kaggle environment. Okay. Um. All right. So it didn't work here. So I think I have to download it manually. I and I am going to like pause the video here, and when the download is done, I'm going to show you here. Okay, uh, so hello again. Uh, I have downloaded like two things uh, I have found while searching for this. You can download the data from uh, the Kaggle Zone website where it is uh, divided into test and train data. And also you can find the similar data set in the Microsoft. Uh, this, I think the data set is not originally from off Microsoft and K Kaggle has it also like, you know, separated out. So here, in the Microsoft server, you can just search for Microsoft Cats and Dogs and you will have a download link here. And the Microsoft ones looks like the pet images folder, as you can see, it has cats, dogs, and cats uh, differentiated in different folders. Uh, but in the Kaggle, uh, it has uh, 12,500 images of cat and 12,500 images of dogs. And you can see the dogs images are not exactly uh, like the same dimensions. And we have to do something about that afterwards. Uh, and for the cat, one yeah 12,500 images here and for a win if you download it from the Kaggle's one website using here download all button you, you will have a folder I think like this one which has a test set of 12,500 images which are obviously not labeled as you can see it is labeled in one two three and up to like 12,500 and the train data is of is of 25,000 images uh, like half of it, half of the images here are of cats, that is 12,500 of cats and 12,500 of uh, dogs. So uh, it, it, this this is, as you can see, labeled here, uh, cat one, two, and the last lower ones are dogs. So we are going to use this specific thing, so I'm just going to copy it to my directory. So I'm going to use this, so I'm just going to copy and... Uh, whoop. Uh, I'm gonna copy it to my project so I opened it from the cats and dogs yeah okay so while it's working we should like get into like 
I'm going to show you the, as I said, the basics of neural networks. Oh, sorry, the basics of CNN. So I would have to show you, like, you know, try to draw something so for you to understand. As you might know, uh, like from my previous or latest videos, um, I will or from now I didn't, I don't have any videos of neural networks, but I'm assuming that you know the basics of deep neural networks. So uh, I am going to just uh, talk about how the convolution works. So imagine that you have an image. Uh, so what we first have to understand that what are images. So images, as we know, are uh, like pixels. Pixel values are array pixels of two dimension here. In this path, you'll find uh, pixels here. And obvious, and also in the vertical grid, you will find pixels going down where, down here. So if you take one pixel here, so it is divided into like three parts, so the RGB value. So this, I am assuming the the pictures given in the data set to be RGB, which is a red, green, blue standard. Somewhere it uses a fourth channel uh, data called CMYK. So. I don't know about this, but I'm assuming that it is a T of RGB. It's the standard. I haven't used CMYK anywhere. So uh, the RGB stands for red, green, red, green, and blue. So each of the pixels here has three, three, uh, three values. Of first value to be of red. This here will be a value, and the second value to be green, and third value, third value to be of blue. So this exactly tells you that how much of red blue or uh, since red green or blue that specific uh, image contains so uh, this these numbers ranges from 0 to 255 that's the highest uh, each of the numbers 0 to 255 so as you can see there are a lot of them a lot of like you know uh, pixels and also the values in just one single pixel so we need to you know Da uh, like downsample it and make it generalized so that our GPU or CPU doesn't have to deal with so many data. So a high resolution email image, uh, for example, like a 1980 uh, image or a 4K image has a lot of pixels in it, so it has a lot of value. That's why the image size goes up. So um, so the way convolution occurs, the convolution we do convolution to bring out certain like you know uh, features from specific maps. There are obviously other visualizing videos that are there in the internet that, is, that can actually show you how exactly convolution works. But uh, to make it like you know simple, I um I don't know if I can make it simple. Uh, so imagine this is the array or the grid of pixels in this particular example. So I'm going to use a, maybe a different color to represent the convolutions. This is what I'm drawing now: the convolution filter. The filter is a smaller part, supposedly contains a two by two or maybe a 3x3, three three. so I'm drawing a 2x2 two two here, so it, it has values like 1, 0, 1, 0, so it's like a matrix that, that you can see here. So whatever the value here is, here, here, the value, the values get mul multiplied. See, the values get multiplied and uh, what, whatever remains of the values gets added onto the, uh, the next, the resulting image. So here, supposing that this has 1, 1, 0, and 0, and uh, image the uh, the pixels the pixel image sorry let me use another color the pix picture the pixel image here uh the pixel values get multiplied by the one zero zero and one and then get added together and here comes the pixel the total value so th this uh th this is the pixel uh, this is the convoluted value of this for pixels and convolution filters and then the convolution filter rotates to this side and these fours are calculated then these fours so it just moves on and on so where like all of the values are calculated when when a specific value is calculated it just travels to uh, the next location the next location and so on so this get this gets this and we get a convolution feature map this is the resulting thing is called a feature map so uh, yeah, that's about uh, it about how uh, exactly a convolution exactly uh, works. So uh, I'm going to use TensorFlow to make out the convolution networks. I hope it's uh, the folders are ready now. So let me just see it in my editor. Yeah, we have the test and the train. It has a filter. Yes. Okay. Never mind that now. So I am going to use the 
cnn.ipython notebook. Just going to cancel this as I, I think I don't need it anymore. So few things that I would like to, I am, oh, uh, one thing that I have to mention that I'm doing is completely from scratch. There's no code anywhere that I, I did, I did see some videos before when I was like, you know, starting to learn about convolutional networks. Uh, but this one, I am doing it completely from scratch. So yeah, <clears throat> bear with me. Uh, so, the, so the first thing that I have to do is to import the CV uh, computer vision tool library to read, write the images or to resize the images uh, that I can see. Okay, I, I have to import the OS library to navigate to my folders and to select the files. Uh, I would have to import TensorFlow as because I am going to use TensorFlow to build my model. TF, yep. Okay, I am going, uh, I would need NumPy as NP. I'm going to need several few things. I think that's TensorFlow the models. Um, TensorFlow. Uh, if I want to download the sequential, so I would like TensorFlow. Excuse me. TensorFlow sequential. Come on. Work with me. Uh, TensorFlow sequential. Sequential. So yeah, Kara TF of Kara, so sequential, so I need to download up to the Keras. TensorFlow of Keras. So yeah, no, not this one. Yeah. So from tensorf.keras uh import sequential. Sorry, this one, then I do okay. I would have to yeah to sequential then I would have to run layers yeah from here I can choose what, whatever I need so I'm gonna need a 2d convolution I'm gonna need the dense dense ones so I'm gonna import from uh, what is it here uh, tf dot keras of layers from tf or keras dot layers import on 2d Con 2D, con 2D, then uh, dense. I think it's called my pooling. That's pooling 2D. I need to check if the P is capitalized. Max pool 2D. It's not max pooling. Uh, right. Uh, do I need anything else? I don't need LSTMs. Uh, add. I already have add, so I'm just gonna also download the entire layer section if I can. Like I might need it. So tf.keras import layers. Nice. So I'm just gonna see if anything has a problem. Uh, okay. So now as it's been okay no model is tf of course so it's gonna be uh tf so let's write tensorflow tensorflow sorry tensorflow hopefully it will work now yeah good no problems here so uh so the first thing i would have to do is the pre-processing yes i have downloaded the data set i did look through it uh, if you want me to look through it again i will yeah this is the project folder this has 25, 12,500 images training and 25 images of testing so yeah <clears throat> okay so i will exactly not use the trailer test set because it has a lot of images here and the test accuracy will not be you know i can use it but i'm gonna you know split it here that would be better because i'm going to do a 90 10 split i'm planning on doing a 90 10 split so um so i now i think i should look through the data set 
um, okay, so it's already 15 minutes video, so I am going to pause this and see you in the next video. I'm trying to make it 10 minutes, but it's going longer. So yeah, see you in the next video. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Thank you.